Then to serve receive, we want to talk about starting position. And first of all, we can talk about receiving in zone five, uh, which will be ultimately similar to receiving in zone six, actually. But uh, in here, this first example, we're looking at CC in a starting position. Uh, you can see from the side here that uh, she has her right foot a little bit in front of her left. Uh, she's bending at the knees, back's pretty straight, arms are down, elbows are locked, uh, her shoulders will be loose. When you see it from this kind of face on view, you can see that her feet are wider than shoulder width apart and hopefully she's ready to move and track and to make a good pass. If the serve were coming from one to five, you'd set up here. If it were coming from five to five, all of a sudden you'd turn a little bit and get perpendicular to the line of serve coming from five and take a step closer. Um, just because with the angle, the, the distance would be similar to where she's standing here for this five to five serve but uh, I think it's called the hypotenuse means that all of a sudden we have to get a little closer here for the same distance to occur so she takes a step up she gets perpendicular and away she goes if if we were to have CC over in one here at zone one receiving now the serve coming from five looking a little bit similar to how she was when she was over in five and the serve was coming from one You'll notice here that her left foot now is a little bit more in front, uh, and that's that's fine. Actually, I, I like that as a place to start. Given that we're going to serve, excuse me, that we're going to pass to zone two and a half, three. Uh, the idea that you would have a left lead leg over on this side of the court is fine. Most of the time, when you're in zone five or zone six, right foot forward is more often going to be the case. However. Uh, you know, if we're talking about defending serves that are going down edges and seams, um, you probably have to be adept at being balanced and forward off of either foot. So, okay to start left foot forward here a little bit, um, but you know, you might be passing over here on the edge and you might have to be right foot forward. That being said, back to serving one-to-one -one. again, she's gotten maybe a step closer uh, to the net and then turned and become perpendicular in her setup to the line of the serve from zone one. So that's set up. Now we get to contact. Uh, the, this platform that we're trying to put together with our, with our forearms is this reflective surface, and we want it to be as flat and uniform as possible. Uh, to do that, we like to talk to our athletes about getting their wrists and hands together. So over on this right-hand picture, you can see Cece's uh, wrists are pushed together, her thumbs are close together, her fingers are tucked under, and we think that looks really good. Uh, if she were to have a couple of fingers sticking out here, a couple of little antennae or something, that would be fine by us, um, but this is how it should look. I think there's a tendency uh, for some people to, to get extra fingers kind of sticking out here. Uh, I think that tends to lead to this surface not being as flat and as uniform as it could be. So really making sure that those wrists and hands are together, the thumbs are balanced, all that good stuff is a good place to go. And then, you know, when it's time to hit the ball, it looks something like this. Simple enough. So, when we have to move, because unfortunately not everyone serves it right into your lap every time. When you have to move, you have, uh, couple of things that we want to do. First, if we have to deal with a ball that's going to go short, we like our athletes to run up to get that ball. Just like that. We'll give you another look. Starts in a good balanced position, runs up, right foot forward. Good contact. If we have to go deep to deal with a serve, we actually like to have our uh, passers drop step where they're going to try to stay square with their shoulders and keep their arms down and in front of them to track but they're going to drop their foot back and hopefully be balanced to contact again so here's another look cc drops stays square perpendicular to where the serve is coming from facing it keeps your shoulders in front of her and you can see their weight forward at contact so that's side to side, 
oh, excuse me, that's forward and backwards. Now let's have a look at side to side. Uh, we want to shuffle when we do that and really working hard to try to establish the lead leg before contact. Uh, we understand at times we're going to be moving through contact, but at the moment of contact, it sure would be nice to be balanced and forward and on a lead leg. So here's a look at some. Easy enough. Shuffle and lead leg. And then the other way was just shuffle and lead leg. Surprisingly simple again.